Hello everyone, this is Agent Ice, and today we're going to talk about Sonic Origins. Amy Rose was recently added in the Sonic Origins Plus DLC, and I will be discussing why I think Amy Rose is more or less mediocre as a character. So sit tight and I'll explain how Amy Rose actually stacks up against the other characters and what she used to be in the past. And why I think this more recent version of her in the game is not quite as good as it could have been. In Sonic Origins, each character has their own unique abilities for movement and combat. Tails can use his tails to fly to reach some of those hard to reach places and also to defeat enemies. Knuckles' glide ability gives him a way to avoid hazards and also gives him a way to damage enemies. He's also able to break through walls and climb them. This allows him to reach places that even Tails can't fly up to because he'll just get too tired. Sonic probably has the most tricks up his sleeve. If you jump in the air and then hit your jump button again, you'll activate the Insta Shield. This gives you more range to your attack and allows you to hit enemies that might be harder to reach, and it also gives you a brief moment of invulnerability. Very useful for both normal enemies and bosses. If you're playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles, each elemental shield in the game gives you special abilities for movement and for combat. If you use the flame shield and you jump in the air, you can press your jump button again to fly forward as a fireball. This allows you to clear gaps as well as to do damage to enemies. It also protects you from fire as well as lava and lava reef zone. The Thunder Shield gives Sonic a double jump, which is great for reaching some higher ledges that might not be possible to get without the help of a spring. It also is helpful because it will attract rings to you, and this is really nice in super form. You also get protected from any lightning damage in the game. The Aqua Shield, or Bubble Shield as many refer to it as, protects you from projectiles like the other elemental shields, but it also allows you to bounce. The bounce is marginally useful, but you could use it to attack and move around. It's just not great for it. However, the big claim to fame here is that it allows you to breathe underwater, which fortunately works for all the characters. So this brings us to Amy Rose, the newest character to be added to Sonic Origins. So, what does Amy Rose bring to the table? Well, depending on the game, not a whole lot, to be entirely honest with you. Let me explain. She kind of, for the most part, at least as far as Sonic 3 is concerned, feels like a really mediocre Sonic clone. And by that I mean, if you use your jump button once you're already in the air, she kind of spins around with her hammer out, which does increase her range, and this is a more permanent effect for the duration of the jump as opposed to Sonic's Insta Shield. However, it doesn't protect you from enemy damage, which means if your hammer doesn't hit the enemy first, it's still going to hit you and interrupt your jump and you're going to lose some rings or die in the process. Where Sonic has an ability to charge up a spin dash while in mid-air and then fly forward, Amy has something similar and she just kind of runs forward while swinging her hammer. This is marginally useful, and I don't usually think this is a good idea to use in most scenarios. So you may be wondering why you would want to play Amy Rose. Surely there's some kind of gimmick that makes her better, right? Well, here's the thing. It depends what game you're playing. So what do I mean by this? Well, if you're playing Sonic 1, 2 or CD. Sonic doesn't have his Insta Shield abilities, and unless you're modding the game or something, there's no elemental shields. This means that Sonic really just has his little drop dash ability, the spin dash, and his normal somersault jump thing that he does. This puts Amy well ahead of Sonic in those titles. And having that extra range on her hammer attack makes her really busted for some of the boss battles where maybe you'd have to jump onto a platform to hit Robotnik or wait for him to come down. Amy can just kind of reach him just because of the extra range from the hammer. 
Now that's nothing to sneeze at. But all that being said, let's be honest here. Again, it just kind of feels like a Sonic clone, and the only reason why Amy's any better is because she wasn't around in the original games. If she was, she probably wouldn't have all these abilities either. So, is she really that great of a character at the end of the day? Well, again, I mean, it depends on what you want. Personally, I think it would have set her apart a lot more had they gone with the way that she was in some dance game. For those of you who might not remember or have gotten to play those games, since that's been years ago now, Amy didn't have a spin dash. She had a little skip ability, and she could skip up very, very sharp hills. Hills that would be very hard to spin dash up. Not only that, her skip ability could be turned into a slide that could be used to defeat her jump didn't damage enemies, and you had to activate the hammer. Which might sound like a pain in the butt, however, there were times that this mechanic was useful, especially since you could jump up and hit a spring, or just stand on the ground and whack it with your hammer, and go flying about twice as far as you normally would if you just jumped on it. So this gave Amy some mobility, and, you know, it was pretty helpful to be entirely honest with you. Oh yeah, that's right. She also had another ability. She could jump up in the air and spin around and hit anything below her with her hammer. And this was really helpful against some bosses. In fact, maybe even busted. It was also really good for defeating multiple enemies on the ground in succession. So, instead of really focusing on things they already established for her and making her a bit more unique, they made her a bit more streamlined and closer to what Sonic was. So is that a bad thing? Well, not necessarily, and I suppose some people aren't really going to complain about the way she is right now, but personally I would have liked her to have more of her own flavor. Another peeve I have with the way her hammer attack works in this game is the fact that it's kind of hard to judge if it's going to hit the enemy before it hits you. A lot of times you just don't know, and when you're dealing with enemies like the Orbanauts, sometimes it's hit or miss. You might defeat them, and other times you might not, and you end up losing your shield, your rings, or your life. And to me that's a little bit annoying. Maybe if they up the range a little bit, then I could see it being more reliable. And while I can live with Amy not being completely unique like she has been in the past, this to me is a big deal breaker. I just don't see a reason to play Amy Rose other than just because you want to play as her. You might as well be playing as Sonic at the end of the day. But I don't know. That's my thoughts on it. What are yours? Share your opinions down below in the comments section. Do you think she's just a bad Sonic clone? Do you think she's worth playing? Are you happy with the way she is? I want to hear from you. Anyway, thank you all. As always, take care. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And for now, this is Agent Ice, signing off.